Welcome everyone. Today we are trying to make video number three and today we are going to deal with a very important topic. Uh, what is the relationship between address bus and the memory size? And it's very interesting. Once you have the concept of this specific topic, you can actually make the size of any memory or you can tell the size of any memory which would going to be related with any specific microcontroller or the microprocessor so question is what is an address an address is nothing but a pattern of zeros and ones which represents specific location either in the memory or in IO device let's see what is this thing about in detail let let's say we have a memory uh, in which we have only four locations so we see here uh, this is location number one this is location number two this is location number three and then this is location number four and there is some content written in these uh, slots so let's number them let's say this is zero slot this is second slot this is our third slot which is number two and this is our third slot which is number four slot in fact so we numbered it from zero to three and if we do number them in binary so you can actually say that okay these are four slots so you need how many bits two bits of course it's quite simple two power two is equal to four so the very first address would be what zero zero the second address would be what zero one the third address would be what one zero and the la last address would be what one one so what is this this is an address this is an address of what this is an address of specific location and this time it is talking about a memory right a memory slot so this is what a pattern of zeros or ones right and it represents or it points towards a specific location and in this uh, memory we, get, we know that this is two bit address and it refers towards how many number of slots towards four number of slots so let's say if the slot has capacity of storing a byte right a byte of information can be stored in this slot a byte of information can be stored in this slot so th this means how many byte of information are there there are four bytes how many bytes four bytes how because each slot have one byte location and how many slots two slots so sorry how many slots four slot and how you translate it two power two is equal to four which is what is two here it is the size of address bus so that means address bus is simply pattern of zeros and it can tell you how many number of slots available in the memory or any uh, IO device we are talking about uh, and that specific slots capacity will also be considered as a size of memory so a byte slot is considered here so that means four byte uh, is basically the size of total memory I hope this point is clear let's apply the same knowledge on a specific controller and in this case we are dealing with PKD now PKD have address bus of around 12 bit and they are dealing with RAM of 4 kilobyte size so according to the, the knowledge we learned in this video we if we know one of them we can tell the other thing so let's say if we know that the size of memory is 4 kilobyte how we can calculate the number of bits in address bus is very simple byte is referring towards the slot size and 4k is the number of bits so you can tell that this 2 4 is 2 power 2 and clo is 2 power 10 in the binary so in total we are dealing with 2 power 12 bits so that means the size of address bus is 12 bit i hope this is clear and we can go other way around for example we know that there are 12 bits involved in address bus we know this thing from this knowledge and we want to tell the size of the memory so it's quite simple we have to raise them in the power of 2 so 2 power 12 which means that 2 power 10 you can break them in 2 power 10 so that would become 2 power 2 into k or sim in simple that would become what k i'm sorry for bad pointing that is the k so 4k is the size and each slot has a byte of information so 4kb the total size of the memory becomes 4 kilobyte and that can be seen here i hope 
uh, this point is clear and you can apply the same knowledge on any specific controller okay that's it from this lecture i hope you have understand the concept the theme of the this video uh, if you have got any question please try to post them in the comment section thank you so much for listening